A group of Silicon Valley engineers this morning is trying to outshine one of the nature's most coveted objects. Diamond Foundry is among a handful of companies growing diamonds like these in a lab. They should not be mistaken for imitation gems like cubic zirconia. John Blackstone shows us the effort attracting some big name backers. At this Silicon Valley startup, engineers are doing in weeks what takes nature millions of years. Just like out of mine, our growth chambers produce a rough diamond. They're making diamonds. Jeremy Scholes, chief technology officer of the Diamond Foundry, carefully shows off some of what they create. For us, in just a few weeks, we produce uh, a one carat stone with plasma and with chemistry. We're accelerating the very same processes that happen in the earth. To protect their secrets from the competition, the Diamond Foundry provided only glimpses of the machines that at 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit rearrange carbon atoms into precious gems. To the layperson, it would be very hard to see some of the differences. John King is chief quality officer of the Gemological Institute of America. He grades diamonds and says there's little difference between those mined from the earth and those grown in a machine. They're both diamonds. They have the same chemical properties, the same physical properties. But I think there's always that interest in items that have occurred naturally. Which begs the question, can a diamond made in a laboratory ever satisfy one of the most famous lines in advertising? A diamond is forever. The world's leading diamond producer, De Beers, told CBS this morning, the finite nature of natural diamonds makes them inherently valuable. Synthetic diamonds can be mass produced and will not retain value over time. And Signet, parent company of retailers like Kays and Zales, says none of its stores carry lab-grown diamonds. Every kiss begins with K. Martin Roshais and CEO of Diamond Foundry suggests there's nothing romantic about the environmental damage caused by mining. In this day and age, the mining of diamond does not make any sense. What people know about mined diamonds is that they were made deep in the earth over millions of years. They're very rare, and that's why they're special. Diamonds in the earth are not rare. The mining cartel just controls the pace of extraction. The diamond industry has been linked to human rights abuse in Africa. Give it to me. And was the inspiration behind the movie Blood Diamond. You know, in America it's bling bling, but out here it's bling bang, huh? When star Leonardo DiCaprio heard about the diamond foundry, he became an early investor. We want to offer a better choice, a sustainable and honest and transparent choice in an industry that uh, hasn't had it. But whether diamonds are coming from the earth or from Silicon Valley, don't expect a bargain. Foundry diamonds only cost about 15% less. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. Well, it just shows you can, they, they can do just about anything in Silicon mm -hmm. Valley. I don't know. What do you think? Well, it's nice. I think it's nice to have an option. I, I personally can't tell the difference. Can you? Can you I'm, tell, Charlie, the difference? No. No, no I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I can't tell. No. And we do have both kinds of diamonds here, apparently. You know what they say about diamonds, though? Girl's best friend. That's right. There you go, Charlie. Look at you. Do you want to point out which one is the real one? Do, do, can I, actually don't know the, I actually don't know the difference. Tony has a theory. Tony says the ones yeah, with... Yeah, these are all real, I guess, apparently yeah. the ones that are in the, in the bands. And they're very pretty. They're all pretty. Yeah,